Hi, I'm Borna and this is Cheer TV. I'm Borna Maholic, uh, I'm coming from Croatia, I'm 24 years old, I'm involved in uh, DJing, organizing events and pretty much anything that is connected to entertainment industry. When I came here my perception of DJing and music in general changed completely. Um, so basically when I first came here I was really amazed first of all by the amount of parties and events in general. I was really, uh, I would say like 10 times more than what I had in my town in Croatia, you know, by week, you know. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I was amazed and kind of happy that I'm in this kind of uh, environment where I can visit so many events and like see so many different things that people are using in order to create different experience for their attendees at the event. For now, I'm producing mostly. I'm mixing less outside and in a club. So basically, I decided to focus more on making my own music. So by now, like I hope by the end of next year, I'll be able to release something and hopefully that will get me somewhere. <laughs> I'm working with Happening Events, uh, which is an organization in Den Haag that organizes uh, parties and various different concepts uh, connected to the event industry. In Den Haag, for example, scene has been mostly revolving around, let's say, commercial music, EDM, techno. And that's where, for example, Happening wants to change it and wants to bring something else to the scene and uh, tries to bring something that you cannot hear in Den Haag. Other people also started to appreciate different things at parties. So, for example, at Beer Garden, what we have is an art exposition and we have a party which is literally five steps away from you, from the art exposition. So you can either choose to chill with your friends, you know, drink, chat, everything, or you can also go party, which is really nice. And this is also where we are trying to provide people with different experience. And I think this is the most important thing about changing any scene is just providing new experiences for people. Getting contacts and actually sending your stuff out let's say is really hard first of all for me the hardest thing is finishing a track i'm never satisfied with anything but that's just how it is i heard from many djs and producers that's that's normal uh second thing is uh marketing is really important when it comes to djing especially in this kind of world now everything is on social media uh, everything is so approachable you know everything is here on a couple of clicks you know so that's something all of us, all of the youth should use, you know? And yeah, for example, contacts, I've been gathering them myself, literally when I meet someone, exchange emails, Facebook, you know, whatever. And kind of just using the network I have in order to extend even more. Being professional is a really important thing because a lot of DJs nowadays like uh, really lack kind of, uh, I'm gonna, call it empathy for other people. For example, you have a DJ that plays a warm-up set at 11, that plays super fast music, what you can play at five in the morning. And that's how you cannot create something uh, different for people, for the event. You know, you're gonna enter the club, the guy's gonna blast music and you'll be okay. Well, there's nobody here and the guy's blasting music, you know? So that's one of the small things that is connected to professionalism. But also I would say, uh, marketing is really important, like uh, network is by far the most important thing. Uh, this is where any DJ, any event manager, any med artist manager should definitely just work on it, his network and his network is going to get him far, for sure.
Okay, hi, I'm Zach Dawson. I'm one of the founders and co-owners of Happening. I am also a DJ and I work with Borna in promoting bookings and DJing all around The Hague. Well, basically we started back in uh, 2015, uh, so a year and a half ago. We started with smaller underground parties uh, around the city because we really thought that there was something missing from The Hague in terms of nightlife especially in the electronic music scene because it was all the same people doing the same parties you know so we started our own thing we got a lot of success with a few smaller parties and that slowly grew onto bigger and bigger parties more residencies spreading to other cities we've done parties in luxembourg lithuania uh, we've gone to amsterdam soon to rotterdam so we're really building a network and trying to take over europe hopefully yeah, I mean, it's funny because we, we have a lot of nationalities, pretty much everything except for Dutch right now, which is funny because we're in a Dutch city, you know, but that, that kind of, it helps in a lot of ways because I really find we connect to the international crowd here, especially since The Hague is a very international city. It's almost 50% expats and foreigners, you know, so I, I really feel in a way it helped us, but in a way it hindered us as well because obviously we're not Dutch. We, we don't know the scene here as well as a lot of people who grew up here we maybe didn't have all those connections straight from the beginning. We really had to work hard to build our network from the ground up, you know. Especially when you're a new company or a new business, people try and take advantage of you, you know, like especially if you're in a foreign country. Like I, when I first started here, I didn't really look enough into the laws of the Netherlands even, especially when it comes to taxes and, you know, running a company. And yeah, we did a lot of collaborations at the beginning and we learned from them, but you start realizing that, especially when you're young and you're doing a startup like we are, a lot of people target you. and A lot of people try and take advantage of you, but you know, you have to go through these trials and tribulations and learn from them like we have and uh, make it better for the future, basically. I would say one thing that we we really never had a huge budget when we started. We didn't take a big loan. We didn't put a lot of our own money in. We really started small, made our own money, built up a budget and went like that. I would say for a lot of small companies, don't, don't overreach, especially in this industry. It's a really difficult industry. Everyone's a promoter nowadays. Everyone throws parties nowadays. It's not easy. You, can't, you, you can throw a party. Anyone can throw a good first party is what I'm trying to say but it's keeping the consist consistency after that, that proves difficult. Like we found like our first two parties were huge. They were great. Our third party wasn't as good. We realized you have to come up with new ideas. You have to be constantly innovating, coming up with new concepts, bringing in and out new people, especially promoters, because you know, people get used to things fast and grow complacent. So you really got to keep things fresh all the time. Keep it fresh, keep new people, keep thinking of new ideas. Think out of the box, you know? Don't just copy what other people are doing because no one wants that, you know? No one's going to go to, for example, Strathwerk, a huge festival in Netherlands. They do their thing. There's a lot of small organizations I've seen that try to copy them, copy their music, copy their DJs, but they come and die fast, you know? Because people, they don't want that. They want something new and fresh always, at least in my opinion. <laughs> I'm Zach, and this was Cheer TV. Yeah.